So, those of you that follow my channel know I've been looking for the box for this little spy key robot because the keychain remote would be in the box so I could see how it worked. And guess what? I've taken you guys with me with a camera. We've walked around. I see three go. And um, we never found it. I just, I just found it. So I had to grab the camera. Up on top here, up on this railing where I've looked a million times, there's the frickin' box. So we'll go set this guy on the counter. We'll get the box. We'll find out if any of it still works. Hopefully, uh, batteries haven't leaked in the little keychain remote thing. Well, I don't think I've ever played with it, so the batteries might not even be in it. I don't know. We're going to find out. Spy Key Micro. Here it is. I'll move this back. Small parts. I have a date or anything? 2007, it says. We don't need that light on. This is where the battery's down. Mechano. Anything else? Light, sound effects, IR, remote control. Apparently sold it in different color variations. That's still taped. Must have opened it through through the bottom. Maybe. Oh, well, that's tape too. Have I got two of them? Has this one never been opened? Huh? It's factory taped. It could very well be that I have two of them. Maybe I haven't found the missing box. I just found a missing box. We'll find out. So this is an unboxing video. Yep, there's another one in here. Oh, I have got two of them. Anything down in this base that they need? No. A piece of paper with this big cardboard insert. Some more papers. Put the cardboard insert back in. Instructions. Looks like you have to assemble the robot, so maybe we'll try this one here. I must have picked up a loose one at some point. So besides the uh, boxed example, I must have picked up a loose one at a yard sale maybe or something. I have no recollection of that. Of course, every day I'm just thankful that I can even remember my name. As you guys get older, you'll know what I mean. Little pamphlet. Spiky the spy robot. All kinds of uh, tidbits in here. I have no idea what this is all about. Coming in 2009, they were so they were planning on more versions, and maybe they did more versions. And the book kind of flips up down to other Meccano products. Well, what I need out of this is the remote, and hopefully they're uh, running on the same IR channel. I'm pretty sure they would be.
here's the remote. Is an easy way to get into the bag? No. Do I have scissors out here? No. These new snips would work. I'm not going to pour it out of that little teeny opening. Give me a break. Yeah, that's one tough bag. Okay. Well, it has a pull string on it, so that means the batteries are in there. But whether they're any good or not, we'll have to find out. Let's look inside uh, inside this one. I got a feeling I must have two of them, which means I still have another box out here somewhere for this one with its remote. I mean, where would I have picked up a loose one at, you know? I kind of would remember that, I would think. Three AAA batteries. Oh. Load this guy up. It's weird if the box was sitting right there where I'd looked so many times. I mean, you can just be staring straight at something when there's so many toys out here. It's so dense. You can be looking right at something and still can't see it. Okay, I see an on-off switch on the bottom. Nothing. So let's check uh, let's check these batteries in here. After all they are what would it be, eleven years old? Two thousand nine. Find out if they have voltage. Back here. Keep a cheap meter out here. Just for checking batteries and stuff. No. Got four and a half volts without any buttons being pushed. So I would say the button cell batteries are still okay. other switches on here besides the one on the bottom. So on and off. Probably not going to leave those button cells in this remote just in case they should ever decide to start leaking or anything. Dang, I'm not getting any life. I don't really want to read any instructions to see if I'm missing something obvious. Instead of that, let's, uh, let's open up this second base unit. I don't think we have to assemble the robot cosmetically just to see if things work. The uh, IR part seems to be, which is up in the head, seems to be wired to the base unit. See here? Already wired to the base unit as is. Oh, that's got a pull thing too. Does that mean there's already batteries inside here? Goodness gracious. So open it up and check those. We don't want to leave batteries in there after 11 or more years. Yep, there are batteries in there. They don't show any signs of having been leaking or anything yet. Let's see if that does anything. No. It's 
not doing anything either. Except those batteries with the voltmeter. What they do with the voltmeter? Oh, over here. Good thing I wasn't a snake, right? with the switch turned on so those batteries are reading is still having uh, some some power God help us does that mean I'm gonna have to try to read the instructions see if there's some step beyond <clears throat> turning it on on off switch and that batteries do not remote button cells so these buttons are supposed to be the four buttons are supposed to be light and sound and this big button is supposed to be the drive forward and reverse not supposed to be anything more to it than that it's supposed to do it you would think even if the motor was gunked up that uh, that the sounds would work This one's still turned on. <clears throat> Since I wouldn't think that both base... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! All of a sudden it came to life. What the hell? I don't even know what I did. I was going to say it. I would think it would be something with the remote. batteries fade away when you're actually pushing the button or do they keep their, their voltage? <laughs> Holy guacamole! Maybe I shouldn't be trying to chase two of them down. Let's shut this one off since they both seem to be responding at the same time. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm rotating the, uh, the button cell batteries back in here, trying to see if that's going to change a connection problem, maybe. And I'm pushing the back button. It went back. Let's push the forward button. Nothing on the forward. What if I just keep holding it? Hmm. Well, I'm holding the back button down now. Let's check the battery voltage again as I'm holding these buttons down. Let's see if it uh, is dropping or anything. Maybe I just need to replace all three of these button cells. One point six. That seems low. Oh, I think it might be a connection problem in the remote. I'm going to take the batteries out. Plug the remote, like so. Scrape the contact. It does appear to be corrosion in between the cells. See right there? I'm going to put in three. They're not new, but at least they're not leaking. Button cell batteries. Let's see what happens then. At least I don't think they're leaking. I don't, 
don't appear to be leaking. Okay, I'm gonna push the back button. Okay, we got a back. Let's try the sound buttons. Okay, that's a light. So that's working. Is that on camera? Yeah, I guess it is. That was this one over here. All right. That's a cool sound. I like that one. And that was just lights. So then you had forward and backwards. We'll hit backward. So it's going to turn in reverse. And if we go forward, it should drive up this way. Holy gum moly. That baby's fast. So it does work. Just never trust those 11 year old button cell batteries, even when they don't visibly look like they've been leaking. The odds are they have been. See, there's even corrosion on the back of this one where this one had been touching. So it was corroded in between the two. And as I was spinning it with my finger, we were getting an intermittent connection and things started working. So, we've now experienced the spiky. The weird thing about it is we had to unbox a sealed factory one in order to find the remote because this one appears to be a loose one. So somewhere along the lines I came up with a loose one I guess but I also had the mint in box one to get the remote for it. And there we have it. Meccano's Spiky Robot. If you find one, be sure you take the batteries out of it since we know it came with batteries in it. We gotta get those out and I'm gonna take those button cells out for sure so that they don't end up with any new problem.